the big vaccine news tonight. We went from three vaccines to two. Use of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine has now been paused here in the U.S. over blood clot concerns. KPRC2 is your vaccine central. We have live team coverage tonight with a focus on what you need to know about the J&J &J vaccine and what the numbers reveal about your risk factor. And we begin our coverage with Haley Hernandez, the only TV health reporter here in Houston. Haley, we all woke up to the news this morning. The FDA and the CDC making this decision out of what they call an abundance of caution today. That's right. So I'm going to start off by showing you these numbers. Actually, six women were diagnosed with cerebral venous sinus thrombosis. That's a clot in the brain. And that is six women out of 6.8 million doses of the vaccine given nationwide. So that makes the odds of getting this less than one in a million, which makes your odds of getting struck by lightning even better than that. So all that being said, doctors want you to look out for these symptoms if you've had the Johnson & Johnson vaccine in the last three weeks. Six women 18 to 48 years old have developed rare blood clots in the brain partnered with low platelets. This rare incident happened within six to 13 days after these women got a Johnson & Johnson vaccine. I'd like to stress these events appear to be extremely rare. However, COVID-19 vaccine safety is a top priority for the federal government. The FDA and CDC is now recommending a pause in the vaccinations, especially since they say the treatment doctors typically use for blood clots can cause harm in this situation. Heparin may be dangerous and alternative treatments need to be given. They're urging people to contact a doctor if they experience a severe headache, abdominal pain, leg pain and shortness of breath. I'd like to emphasize to folks not necessarily to panic or overreact. I mean, you can be on the lookout for symptoms, but it is very, very rare. None of the cases reported at this time have occurred in Texas, where more than 500,000 doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine have been administered. While the CDC's website does list reports of adverse reactions in Texas, ranging from a toothache to fatigue to slurred speech, not one of those cases has been proven linked to the vaccine. And Dr. Kulkarni encourages people to continue getting Pfizer and Moderna since those are not part of this recommendation from the FDA. Harris County also says that if you were planning to get the J&J &J vaccine at NRG, you'll be offered Pfizer instead. Reporting live, I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC 2 News. Our vaccine central team coverage continues.